Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Military. Today I wanted to take a look at a German World War II rifle slash hand grenade, which uh, is fairly common to find if you collect this kind of stuff. It is, and I'm going to butcher it, and I just say this up front, it is the Gewehr Sprenggranate, or basically rifle explosive grenade. So there are a number of different variants of this grenade, and we're going to look at sort of the two most basic ones, uh, a rifle-only version, which is this one, and a hand-slash-rifle version. So first of all, we'll take a look at the hand-slash-rifle version. You've got your nose fin or nose uh, fuse here, which is, that's a Bakelite fuse uh, head right there, and a metal body you've got also a metal body here with your yellow paint denoting it as high explosive and then a bakelite uh, base here with flame holes that act as a self-destruct device so when you actually uh, shoot this out of the shooting cup which was the it was basically a 30 millimeter uh, cup type discharger you would thread your base here or your entire grenade in using the uh, already handily made uh, rifling so you'd put that into your uh, launcher cup that was attached to your uh, rifle and then you would fire this using a special blank cartridge and then this would actually ignite there would be a pellet here in the base that would ignite and force flame through these holes and you'd have five to seven seconds of in-flight time and if it did not detonate already using the uh, nose fuse basically it would destruct the grenade itself so i i guess so it would destruct I'm not really sure why the necessity of putting that on there but the germans did on some versions and this is one of those versions this could also be used as a hand grenade and so what you would do, you would actually have your grenade totally together. You would unscrew your base plate or your uh, base. And as you can see here, there's the remains of a string. And that string would be connected into the body of the grenade where the explosive was. So it would act as a pull spring or pull string you would just let this dangle you would pull this like you would the uh the detonator of a uh, uh stick grenade you'd pull it you'd have five to seven seconds then to get rid of it because it would initiate your uh, uh detonation chain and you would just throw the remains of the grenade which would be this part and use it as a hand grenade so sort of an interesting uh, multi-purpose tool that that uh, did see quite a bit of service in world war ii wherever german soldiers fought very handy uh, little weapon actually and then this guy is a rifle version only it has no provision for a, uh, str a string or anything like that it is also not a detonator version or a self-destruct version so if you actually unscrew your base you will see that you don't have that provision for the self-destruct like the other one does so this is just a straight up you fire it and forget about it uh, everything else is going to be the same yellow for the high explosive same bakelite fuse with a metal head uh, nothing too unusual otherwise also no provision to be a hand grenade this was a strictly rifle grenade only both of these are dated 1944 uh, they do have some fairly heavy patina on the metal but they do have waffen amps and a 44 date can be found on both of them so just sort of a, an interesting uh, grenade that was used 
by the German military and sort of their answer to the rifle grenades which were used by other countries. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy seeing strange and unusual things. Uh, so if you are interested in a specific military, always remember to comment as well. Always interested in hearing what you say. And uh, I'll be coming back with more interesting stuff in the near future. Thanks for watching.